Assalamu alaikum to all my brothers and sisters and friends of Islam. My dear beloved brothers of Islam, peace be unto all of you. Today, I read an article in a newspaper concerning Saudi Arabia, the land that the very Prophet Muhammad was born and where the Quran was actually presented to him by a Jagabal after he write it. It is amazing to know that the Arab of Saudi Arabia got very great history. But what is amazing to see that you all are not living in peace, love, and unity. I cannot see Saudi Arabia, the land of Prophet Muhammad, that where the Holy Quran come from, the Messenger, peace be unto him, have so many hypocrites using the Quran, using the, the lands of Muhammad to distort the truth in the Islamic world. Why I'm saying this? I love to see a world of peace. I love love and understanding where every human can see eye to eye and try to build a bridge of unity instead of buying guns and planes to kill one another. The last thing I can recall, this little country by the name of Qatar was accused for financing terrorism and was also asked by the international community to get rid of Al Jazeera, which is a TV broadcasting corporation. It is fair to say, can we ask America to get rid of Fox News, CNN, and any others, or ask the British to get rid of uh, B BBC? It is totally hypocrisy when big countries want to tell other countries how to live their life and how to direct freedom of speech, when democracy is an open world and the biggest democratic country in the world is India, followed by the United States second. And to be honest, all men was created equal according to the American Constitution by the great president. I am saying here today, as a citizen of the world, I call upon Saudi Arabia to start to correct your mistake and then you could correct your brother own. In your country, women have no rights. They got to follow your teaching or they are suffer. And you are the only country, as I can recall, according to information, got a thousand princes or prince. Is that fair to an international community? We don't know who's who. Now, I am not against you. All I think that you should spread those money around to the Arab community, the Christian community, and others to make this world a safer place for humanity. If you believe in the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he preached love and communication to each other and equality for women, but you have denied women their rights. And yet you want to tell the world how to live. If I remember clearly, according to information during 9-11, most of the people that crashed those planes into the Pentagon, the Wall Trade Center, came from Saudi Arabia. So who is the terrorist? And who is to be blamed? And if America, Russia, France, and England say not to back terrorism, let's ask the American who overthrew many governments in Central and South America, Africa, Caribbean, and ask Russia what they do with Georgia, Poland, and many other countries, and ask France what they also done in South African nation, and even the British, fellow citizens of a free world. I believe in the teaching of God Almighty and all the prophets, peace be upon all of them. In the Quran, Jesus is called Isa, a great prophet. Moses was called Musa, another great prophet. In the Bible, is Moses and Jesus Christ. Some say I look like him, but I know I am not him, because I am not Hebrew. But I have nothing against that. If we believe in God Almighty, then he's the father of all of us. He's the father of Abraham, Ishmael. He's the father of Noah. He's the father of Moses, Musa, Jesus, or Muhammad. And he's the father and grandfather, maybe, of all of us. Because if he's the father of all of us, then somewhere or the other, our mothers may be commit adultery. And the Quran and the Bible condemn adultery. But we're not going to touch into that. It's of a great father. God, that was given to us. But when we talk about human way of living and understanding, that is why America went to the poll and elect a man named Donald Trump. Because they were tired of hypocrites, rhetoric, false promises, and the hand deal, selling you Arabs guns and bombs to kill each other. Will Russia do the same? And today, when Trump come up and tell you about peace, some of you just hug him like that. Is it Judas hugging Jesus? Is another assassination about to take place that we don't know about? 
my brothers, put your ignorance aside and leave Qatar alone. Deal with the humanitarian affair because they've been accused for enslaving people. Now, if you talk about that, I support you 100%. But you cannot tell them about that when you yourself are enslaving women and deal with foreigners wrongfully. You have to wake up, man. That is not the teaching of the Allah or the God that I worship and I believe in. You people are some of the most outright hypocrites that are calling yourself leaders in this universe. Change, for God's sake. Change through the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You have one of the greatest teachings you claim. You say salam, your Jewish brother says salam, and the whole world is in an alarm because of salam and salam while well, you are destroying everybody with your hypocrisy. Stop it. I have no apology for this man. It's nothing personal. I love the world like you. Not even the king live forever. We all will die and disappear forever. Let's unite and make this world a better place so we can live better. Leave Qatar alone. If they break their love of humanity by establishing what I call slavery, according to my information, I don't know, it's alleged, let's put an end to that. Pay people, show mercy, show love, and let's build school, churches, hospital to feed the hunger around the world. Even Allah might be proud of their children to see we put the guns and bombs aside and unite to make humanity a place and make earth the paradise. Instead, we give in money to people who want to kill one another for no reason at all. And the nonsense for you young Muslim around the world who believe you're going to kill people and if you get killed, you go to heaven and get sent to two virgin. If you cannot find a virgin on earth which is supposed to be hell, you think God got holes in heaven? You all are distorting your teaching, man. This is my message to the Muslim community. But again, leave Al Jazeera alone, BBC alone, CNN alone, Fox News alone, as my great president of America, Donald J. Trump said, 99% of the news is fake news. What you think about that? So then Donald Trump is right. We must close on 99% of the fake news, which means BBC all gone, CNN gone. And who will decide who's the right news? I am just amused with all this confusing thing about the news. So leave Al Jazeera. Leave.